Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's your boy, Terrence Carter, and I'm here, back at it again with another video. All right, so I have a couple notes for today's video that I have written down. Not even going to front to y'all. This video right here, I had this uh, thought to myself yesterday. And I was, you know, doing some very, 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 like, deep thinking. And I personally feel like they have, in some way, shape, or form, got people so, like, desensitized to this human experience, right? Because you gotta remember, we're energetic beings, right? So your energy is very, very, like, sensitive. Right? And you gotta be very, very protective of it. So there's constant things that are giving you like false hits of dopamine that you're not really paying attention to. And I really had to think about this yesterday because I'm like, dang, bro, like, you got TV. That's why I don't watch TV. The TV is no longer there. Look, it's not there. It's gone. So yeah. You got TV, video games. Yeah, some people get paid to entertain y'all to play, like playing video games. And some people can say, oh, video games help me feel better, whatever. But video games are fake, right? You got PMO. PMO is fake, but it's giving your brain a false sense of what reality is because you believe that you're there, but you're not. So when it's time for you to solve real world problems, you like, some people get their, their, their anxiety, they get nervous, they get in their head so much. So this is something that I really was thinking about. Oh, same thing with you, you some people waste money on like video chats, cam girls, all that extra stuff. You're wasting money, right? Or you played a lottery. So it's giving you hope. And I get it, some people hit the lottery, okay, but even if you hit the lottery, you still gotta have the mindset to keep the money. Or invest the money. But there's so much things that's giving people the the the, the false sense of what real positive hits of dopamine feel like. Because, like right now, I'm getting a positive flow of dopamine making this video because this is what I wanted to do. This is what I, I embrace. This is what I love to do. I didn't love to watch porn. I was doing that to cope with what the fuck I was going through in life. You see know what I'm saying? At that time. I was using it to make me feel better when in reality, it was making me feel worse. And I don't mean to cuss, my apologies. This is why I tell y'all too, reconditioning the mind, reprogramming your brain every day because it, it gets deep. Retention and no fact is a necessity. It's a, it's a must for every man because you not even seeing how you're being your own demise. This shit gets very, very deep, bro. It is a spiritual warfare, bro. It's a spiritual. This, this is to get your spirit right, bro. I really was thinking about this, bro. I'm like, dang. And then, boom. You, some people don't, don't believe in retention, right? You're, oh, it's placebo. It's fake. Blah, 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 blah. I bet. Why are you afraid to talk to a person in real life? You ever think about that? Why are you afraid to give eye contact in real life? You you you, you have a sad thought about that? Because on retention, you you like this, right? You have a whole bunch of energy. Your body is operating super duper high, bro. I'm not even going front to you. This this vessel is powerful. You know what I'm saying? Teaching yourself discipline. You're teaching yourself how to control your sexual energy. You can look people in the eyes without a problem. 
know? And then you start seeing how, in some way, shape, or form, before retention and no fat, <clears throat> you see how controlled the world is, how it's led by fear, right? How I... My apologies, y'all. My phone ran out of storage. So like I was trying to say, you start to see how uh, the world is led by fear because they're constantly placing it in front of you. There's some things that you may have to detach from as your life progresses, you know? One of them is social media. YouTube is not social media to me, right? That's just my personal opinion. You can feel how you feel. But to me, YouTube is how I at least try to learn, you feel me? And I don't just depend on YouTube for me to learn. Nah, I, I like to listen to audio books, you know? Um, I love to journal. I love to learn from my own personal experience, which is the best teacher in, in life. You feel me? Whatever the case may be. But you gotta detach from like the Instagram, the TikTok, the whatever, Twitter, whatever stuff is called. So, what, what is X? So you can learn how to reconnect with yourself, you know? Because even mindlessly scrolling on social media is giving your brain like false hits of dopamine negative hits of dopamine right because you're you're searching for something in that moment to feel some to feel like a void or something it's like i'm just looking for this video or I'm looking for something and it's like why you know and i get it like these platforms some people like to be entertained, but it's not about being entertained, bro. You should want to be educated, to be bloody honest. Because in the real world, bro, like you have to, like I say, recondition, reprogram, unlearn, relearn. So much things I have to unlearn, bro. So much things that I'm relearning now. You got to, like, give yourself... It's like giving yourself a chance, bro. It's giving yourself a chance. Don't let PMO destroy your brain, your well-being, you feel me? Your spiritual peace, your nervous system, your energetic aura. You got to you gotta let go to grow, bro. And that's one of the things that I embrace about this journey because it made me become a better man. It made me look at myself totally different. I'm not even going front to y'all. Like, I, I tell myself all the time, we got things to work on. We got to keep on improving, evolving as an individual. You know, we got to keep on connecting with the people and connecting with our higher selves. Keep working on your confidence, T. Keep trusting in the process. Keep going. You got years of, 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 of unlearning and be learning to do right. You know what I'm saying? Two seconds, y'all. I'm gonna turn my light on. Two seconds, two seconds. But yeah, to be honest, bro, it's and that's some things that like. You gotta, you gotta remember, you know, you gotta remind yourself because it, it may feel like, dang, like I don't really have nobody to really talk to about this, but you have yourself, you know, you have God. You know what I'm saying? Retention, no fat, it may feel like, dang, like, cause you could try to tell your friends, yo, leave PMO alone, you know, learn how to heal your mind, learn how to reprogram your brain, you know, rewire your brain. Things like that, and like they'll look at you like crazy, or like you don't know what you're talking about, or whatever. Yo, stop, stop, uh, going to the club, stop partying so much. Like, you don't know what you're talking about, bro. What the heck? It's like you can try to help people, and then it's like, dang. But for those that actually, like, if I was to tell somebody, bro, get on retention, it's gonna make you 
uh, uh, feel better about yourself. It's gonna help you in so many different areas of your life because your energy. I'm not saying like you sitting down and doing nothing with your life is gonna help you. Absolutely not. You learn how to transmute your energy and focus on things in your life that may need to be fixed. You feel me? I'm trying to think through this. <laughs> things that may need to be fixed. It it uh it changes you in some way, shape, or form, right? It it shows you like dang majority of my life I was focused on the wrong things, you know? I was putting too much energy into worrying about what other people thought about me. Probably was people pleasing. I know for myself, I was a people pleasing. I hate this is the part of YouTube people do not see, bro. Like, when you gotta constantly <laughs> start the video over because you ran out of storage and, uh, gosh. Anyway, all right, so, <clears throat> like I was saying, people pleasing. I honestly did not like to uh, be a people pleaser when I was younger. I was a so I had to grow out of that. I had to start doing more things for myself, you know? Um, learning how to put myself, like, first and give back to myself, you feel me? Um, also, too, like, on this journey, you're gonna have to learn how to trust your intuition. You're gonna have to really learn how to trust your intuition, bro. You, we're powerful. Like, we, bro, we're not, like, weak beings, bro. We're really, really powerful. You just are consciously making yourself feel powerless because you don't want to detach from PMO. If you detach from PMO, you're going to learn how to control yourself. You know what I'm saying? You're going to... Because everything starts from the root. So there's a root problem as to why you're constantly wanting to watch the PMO. But there's also a solution. You feel me? You have to be willing to solve that solution. You got to be consciously aware, bro. Be honest with yourself, bro. Do you think PMO is good for your, for your, for your mentality, for your mind? No. This is a reason. This, this is why I be making these videos. It's because it started with me asking myself those questions and then getting the answers within. Gotta, we gotta, <laughs> we gotta be programmed, huh? If there's people in the world that will think that Retention is a placebo, retention is fake, blah, 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 whatever. It's because they're too attached to what's really fake. Another thing, like I told you, like, stop watching the, uh, stop watching the PMO because it's fake. TV, movies, stuff like that. Another thing, too, when you're on social media and you focus on likes, like, I tell you I like the video, subscribe to the channel, Leave a comment below. That's for YouTube, right? That's so that so that that's so that these videos reach more people. If you want to do it, you can. If you don't, it's okay. My life is gonna continue regardless. You can't think that social media likes like define you as a person, if that makes sense. Because you can't focus on being liked by the whole entire world. That's never gonna happen. Focus on liking yourself. You know? Focus on being there for yourself. And knowing, like, as long as I like myself, as long as I vibe out with myself and my own energy, that's it. People will love what you do, but you're always going to have some people out there that's not going to support it. And it is what it is. I love what I do. I'm really helping people on the planet solve their addiction to PMO. You feel me? These videos help people. So they make me feel good knowing that I'm using my energy the right way. I'm getting real life hits of dopamine from doing the right things. You know what I'm saying? And I, and I start knowing about myself like what I'm living for. I'm living for myself and I'm living to help humanity. That's a real purpose. As long as I keep going and I keep pushing, I 
That's all that matters, bro. Trusting in the process. Don't let porn desensitize your brain from real reality, from real life things that you gotta really be tunnel vision and focused on. Practice a new routine. Wake up in the horizons, talk to God. Before you even start your day, talk to God. And study something that's going to bring you a return on investment. Study something. For me, I studied the, the stock market. That's what I personally decided to study. And I'm also studying myself. It's the best study in the world. Love y'all. Shout out to the SR community, NoFat community, everybody on their investing journey. Thank you to anybody that's been supporting this channel. If you're new, subscribe only if you want to. It's up to you. Um, if you gained something from today's video, give the video a thumbs up. Leave your comments below. And I'll be back at it with some more content for y'all. This is your boy Tim